Hey, so today I'm going to do a product haul video for October for some products that I picked up from the drugstore. Um, I'm just doing drugstore brands today. I didn't go to Sephora, which is my nat normal place I go to to buy most of my makeup. Um, so I'll get started. Um, first thing I got was Wet n Wild Nail Polish. It was 40% off at um, CVS. Today is October 26th, so it was like a sale. They were 40% off. Um, it's the Fast Dry Nail Color. And the color is Fuchsia Rama. And I don't know if you can see this. The number is 232C. So if you're interested. Um, I've never tried this brand before, but it was like with the 40% off, I think it was a dollar or something once I pay for a dollar seventeen. And it's a cute color. And I don't care what people say about trends. I don't follow trends. I make them. Um, and this is a lip gloss from NYC by NYC. Um, I forget whose brand. I think this is a line off of Revlon. I think like their lower end. Um, this color is called Brighton Beach Peach, number 575. And I don't know. I Like I said, I don't wear something or not wear something because people say, oh, it's out of season. I don't believe in that stuff. I like to do what I like to do. So I'm going to try that one out. And I got another one. As you can see, I'm getting pinks now. Um, this one is called 579 Fashion Avenue Fuchsia. This is also from NYC brand. Um, it's bright pink. And I'm going to try that one out as well. Um, I did also get some Wet n Wild um, Mega Volume Mascara in the color Very Brat. C138. Um, it's supposed to give you five times the volume. As you can see, I have little lashes so if this is going to be something that's going to make them puff up and look just fabulous i'm all for it and i think this was on sale too i think i paid like a dollar 87 for it it was like yeah it was 40 percent off too and the last thing i bought was some flawless concealer from black opal and it's the beautiful bronze color you can see that and this is the product ouch I got bit by a bee today. It bit me in two parts of my leg. I, I didn't know the bees can sting more than once, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this is the concealer. And concealer is pretty much for, like, putting it on top of imperfections in your skin, covering dark circles under your eyes and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, um, even though I don't wear foundation, but since the weather's starting to get kind of... Um, cool it's october 26 so you know winter's around the corner so I, I like to protect my skin because debris is flying all over the place dirt and all that and makeup is a good way to cover your face so yeah i'm gonna try out this concealer one thing i would say before you put on any lipsticks or lip glosses or whatever it may be I always apply a base to your lips any moisturizing agent like I use Carmex a lot because I am I don't know addicted to Carmex but um, anything that's gonna moisturize your lips because sometimes they have drying agents in them and they make your lips really dry and they do more bad than good so yeah of my October product haul I had got some other items and I was given one so I thought I would just add this to the rest of the tape so I didn't have to make a second October product haul because I thought that's kind of weird but anywho um, I'm gonna get right into it um, I did pick up two more drugstore brand lip glosses um, like I said it's fall I want to wear the colors I want to wear. I don't care if it's after Labor Day. If I want to wear white, I'm going to wear white. So, the first thing I decided to do, I'm going to be bold. I've never wore any type of red lipstick. Always like a purple, pinkish, but never a red. So, this is the first one I got. It's by um, LA Colors. Um, and it's moisturizing lip gloss. You can see that. And the color is red alert. There you go. So as you can see, it's extra red. Like, 
I'm trying to block out the light so you can see how red it is. It's extra red. Like, it's red. I have to actually put this on my lips to see how red it is, but I'm not going to do it yet. I'll come back and let you guys know. Um, the second one I got is more of the color scheme I'm used to, which is the purple pinkish. Um, and this one is also by LA Colors and it's called Orchid. So I actually might try this when I go to work tomorrow. And here it is. So you can see. Okay. So that's it for lip gloss. Um, I'm trying to find a good detangler. I actually tried to get the Kiona, Kiona, I think that's how you say Kioni conditioner by You Are Curly, but no one sells it here in Minnesota. Um, they sell the shampoo, but they don't sell the conditioner, which kind of was a bummer, but it's cool. I'll live. Um, so the first one I picked up I went to Walmart and it's called the curly kids mixed hair hair care um, it's supposed to be a super detangling deep conditioner it's sulfate free and paraben free so it's the curly girl method if you out there are all into all naturals um, it's an eight ounce I paid that light is so bright. I paid three dollars and forty-seven cents for this, so we're gonna see how it works. It says it's new, so we'll see how that works. Um, also, I got the oh, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. The Kinky Curly Not Today, which is the a natural leave-in conditioner, but it's also a detangler. Um, this is the eight ounce. I picked it up from Target. Let me, you can see. Yeah, whatever. Um, I picked it up from Target. I think it was like eleven ninety nine, and um, we're gonna see how this works because twelve bucks. This stuff better work. And I was so happy to receive a product from a friend of mine who's scared to try out stuff. So she bought it and was like, please, Danny, do a review on this. Um, big shout out to my girl, Les. Um, she has a YouTube page on here. I don't remember the name, but what up, Les? Um, so I also got the Aunt Jackie's. Not to not on my watch. It's a instant detangling therapy. That's what it says it does. Um, it's supposed to soften, help restore, and moisture balance, eliminates knots and tangles for natural curls, coils, and waves. It's enriched with shea butter and olive oil. So I'm gonna hope that it does everything that it says it does. Um, I'm trying to decide out of these three. Out of those three, which two I'm gonna try my hair out on, but we'll see. I'm gonna do a review to see which one is better. Um, I actually might do the kinky, curly, and the Aunt Jackie's. Um, I'm familiar with the Aunt Jackie's brand. I'm so used to using her curl a lot. I love it and it moisturizes my hair. I'm gonna believe this is gonna do the same thing, but I just wanna know how good of a detangler it is. Um, I've heard good things about the kinky curly, so I want to try this one out too. So that's the end of this, and hopefully I'll have a review up soon to let you know out of these three detanglers which one works better. Later. Thanks, subbies. Thanks everyone else for watching too.